Hello children and welcome back. We are doing the FOG MCQ. This is the ninth poem from the book, The First Light for class 10th English. After this, only one poem is left. I will cover that as well. And after that, I will start with the supplementary leader, Footprints Without Feet, and I will cover all the chapters for that. I hope you are enjoying these videos. If you are, please subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment for suggestions, and also ask your friends to watch these videos so that they can also get benefit of using the MCQ quiz. Let's begin the fog quiz. How does the fog arrive and depart? Silently, by announcing its arrival, loudly or both by announcing its arrival and loudly. So children, we're talking about fog. If you have stayed uh, in a place where it's very cold and the fog is usually in the morning, or if you have gone to your school early in the morning, you must have seen, you know, when you open your door, the fog is in front of you. So it arrives very slowly without making any noise, not like rain and thunder or storm that it makes a lot of noise. It does not make any noise. It comes silently. Let's go to the next question. What has the poet compared the fog with? A dog, cat, a woman or none of the above. So children, we're talking about a comparison of fog with one of these three or none of them. So dog, you know, you can't compare dog with fog because when dog comes, he's barking, he's jumping and a cat is something which is which can be compared with the fog so you know cat can be compared with the fog because you know cat comes quietly so the poet has compared the fog with cat definitely not women the fog's movement is fast normal slow or none of the above i think by now you can guess the fog movement is always very slow. Very dear se aata hai fog aur pata nahi lagta. What has been personified in the poem? Fog, cat, city or harbor. So we know we are personifying fog in this poem. So answer is fog. <clears throat> Name the poet of the poem fog. Walt Weitzman, Karen Wells, Carl Sandburg or Robert Frost. So children. Uh, one quick tip remember each poem's poet or poetess because in most of the mcq you can then answer so that will be easy for you so you can see all the other poem uh, all the other poets are of different poems only carl sandberg is the poet of fog so that's the answer what does the fog do while it looks over the city and the harbor it dances it moves it stands or it sits Answer is, it sits. Shanti se baitta hai. The cat sits on its haunches, back, feet or all of the above. So we're talking about cat. How does cat sit? You know? So basically, uh, haunches ka jo matlab hota hai bachon, jab aapke uh, buttocks and thighs are together in a human or animal they are called as haunches so the cat sits so the cat sits on its haunches after sitting the fog sits there only moves on disappears or gets dense so it moves on What does the fog look over? Over offices, over the harbor in the city, over the houses or none of the above? So children, mentioned so you can now guess the door or the fog looks over the harbor and the city. How does the fog come? Faster and silently faster and making noise slowly and silently or none of the above so children we know 
the fog comes very slowly and silently. Dabe paon aata hai. Where does the fog arrive or is looking over? I think we've already covered this, but let's do it again. Both harbor and city. City, village or harbor. So it's harbor, both harbor and city. So it's a different kind of MCQ, you know. Uh, so you can get prepared because of looking at this uh, MCQ. Let's do the next one. What is the rhyme scheme of the poem? A, B, A, B, A, B. A, A, B, B, A, B, A. No rhyme scheme or A, A, B, A, A, B. So children, for this poem, there is no rhyme scheme. Remember that. How are the feet of the cat described? Little, clever, huge or all of the above. So children, we know in this poem, the feet of the cat are described as little. And children, this brings to my uh, to the last question of this uh, poem, the fog. I hope you have enjoyed this and you will enjoy attempting the quiz which is in the description and I will now do this last question. The feet of the fog are like cat feet, tiger feet, lion feet or dog feet and answer for that children is the feet of the fog are like cat feet. Alright, thank you.